Why are you not willing to help me find my family member? Well, the simple answer is there's two. And that is one, what is going to happen if that untrained amateur radio operator that has no means of helping other than him and his walkie-talkie or his mobile get hurt? The, the, the fact is, I don't want to live with the fact that I sent somebody into an area in his pickup truck, cross a, you know, crawled across a bridge, because that's what one ham said yesterday. I will crawl across the bridge and see what I can do. That means the bridge is out, and he's crawling around on, on down trees to try to get into the affected area. The other side of this is we need to keep the roads open right now for emergency services. They are, they are really, really working hard. We have two deputies who died in floodwaters. We had firefighters from a task force team in California on their way here yesterday who were seriously injured in a, in a horrible car accident. Um, they, their equipment, I, by what I have been told, is destroyed. They are in critical condition in Louisiana in a hospital in Shreveport, I believe it was. And there are multiple other first responders that are the men and women that can help who are being hurt. So we need to support the roads right now for them to get into these affected areas. Lastly, I don't want to say lastly, but let's go ahead and break so we don't time out the machine. <laughs> Additionally, as of the latest briefing yesterday, and we will be listening to the latest briefing again today at 10 a.m., uh, scheduled at 10 a.m., water has still not hit the largest area affected, and that is the Buncombe County area. That's the largest population area of water that has not been reached. So there are people that have not had a, 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 a drink of water since this storm. And to us, that is unfathomable. And if we have folks that are out running around trying to find out if they're a, a, a somebody they don't even know is okay, we don't want to hinder the larger efforts of life safety. While we all understand health and welfare is an important job, the rescue is more important right now. So with that, we're going to continue to take health and welfare and we are requesting, if you're out listening to us on the Internet, like thousands and thousands are, that you continue to use the email provided yesterday and email those to me or nc211.org and provide them with the information so when the time is appropriate that health and welfare checks can continue. The fact of the matter is there has been a hundreds of thousands of people that have survived this storm and they're just cut off from everyday world right now. That we don't want to take away the efforts of first responders getting to the people that truly need the help. We had uh, some really nice stories come out yesterday all over western North Carolina and those people showed up and the people were absolutely fine and we reported back to the requesting party, which is great. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. Anybody who survived this devastating storm is, is very, very lucky. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. But we don't want to continue to cross those roads with, you know, folks that are, you know, just not at the responder level of training and going out and possibly getting themselves hurt and or just causing more traffic and the headaches for the for, uh, first responders. Let's, uh, let's, let's say it the way it is, because that's, that's the potential. And yesterday, yesterday we took hundreds and hundreds of welfare check requests, and I think we probably had 10, maybe 15, that came back and said, yes, I've talked to these people, they're okay. So the, the sheer numbers of requests that we're taking are, we're not getting the result, because let's, let's face it, people are trying to survive, right? People are trying to survive right now, and that is the way we got to look at this. We have to support the people in the affected area versus 
sending untrained people into the affected area. So, North Carolina Emergency Management and OXCOM, as I said earlier, sent out an email to, uh, to us this morning that we can continue doing what we're doing, but they are not supporting uh, health and welfare checks at this time. So uh, that was pretty disturbing to wake up to, but I guess I understand their decision because doing health and welfare checks right now while trying to continue to rescue people is, a, is going to be a daunting task. There's going to be a time and a place for health and welfare, but right now we're still considered a rescue mission. We're three days out from the storm now, and people are still alive, trapped, uh, that need the help. So with that, again, my name is K2DMG. My name is Dan, and I will continue running this net as long as needed. I am home, and I am willing to do it for everybody. We still have NG4D on frequency, and we still have Jimmy, who was helping out yesterday and the day before, and for us is ZF. Uh, we are willing to make phone calls and send text messages, but if you will please continue to send emails to k 2 dmg 9629 at gmail.com for your health and welfare. That again is K2DMG9629 at gmail.com. We will pass those requests off to the appropriate authorities when the appropriate time comes. Comments, questions, concerns, I'm probably going to get beat up here. Go ahead. Next control. Go. Uh, I hate to ask the obvious question. Is the uh, generator up there on, good on fuel? Uh, repeat your question. I heard something about fuel and a generator. I was saying, is the generator at the repeater site good on fuel? I don't have that answer, and I'm not sure if the uh, repeater owner has been able to make it up there, because last I knew he was trapped as well. Uh, the repeater owner, I'm drawing a blank on your call, uh, and... 4G or something like that. If you're on frequency, come now. N2G. N2G, go. N2G, if you're able to make the machine go. Sorry to tell you. I know you're the, even the owner of it, but it's uh, communications even hard for you right now. We're going to let you go ahead and give it another shot. N2G, K2DMG. Oh, do you read me? Yeah, I heard it. Do you read me? And yes, I do, but uh, you're breaking out very bad. Go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, I need some information to pass on. Uh, somebody's in need of a pharmacy. It's a Walgreens pharmacy, but the one that they usually go to uh, is on Tunnel Road, and uh, that, I think that that one is not operative. Anybody knows uh, uh, one that is open at this hour? Okay, the gentleman requesting the pharmacy, stand by. We'll get to you in just a minute, the gentleman requesting the pharmacy. We are trying to make communication with the owner of the repeater, N2GE, K2DMG, go if you can hear. Hey, thanks for subscribing, Kevin. Okay, no communication with N2GE. The gentleman that's requesting a pharmacy, come now. Uh, uh, Walgreens Pharmacy is uh, open at this hour uh, besides the one in Toro Road. I think that they're not open. Okay, is anybody in the affected area around Asheville, which is going to be the east side of Asheville? This gentleman is on Tunnel Road, which I believe is up off of 240, if I remember correctly. But, um, come now if you have any information at a pharmacy. I do know there's a pharmacy in Weaverville. A Weaverville pharmacy is available, but is there anything else in uh, the east side of Asheville for this gentleman coming up? That we go to the Weaverville one. Thank you much. Okay, unfortunately, I didn't copy a lot of that. You're breaking in and out real bad, but uh, uh, no problem. You said thank you, so I think you may have figured something out. Uh, there is a one in Weaverville on Main Street. If you can make it to Weaverville, Weaverville streets are open per their fire chief yesterday. 
This is K2DMG. Any more comments, questions, concerns about the preamble? Go ahead. Next, Joel. And go ahead. Uh, I know y'all said we're not going looking anymore, but can I uh, at least put one on the list or maybe some information if it arises? Absolutely. We'll, we'll, we'll take what we can. I have multiple people listening. They are writing and typing just as I am with this information, and we will pass it to the appropriate authorities. Uh, but go ahead. Okay, my call sign is Kilo 2, Delta, X-ray, X-ray, K2DXX. The area I'm asking about is Cortland Avenue in the Monford District of Asheville, and the name is Stephen Parker. Okay, 2SL, K2, K2DXX on Cortland Avenue. You're looking for a Stephen Parker. Do you have a house number on Cortland or not? Unfortunately, Good I don't. morning, all for people just tuning in. We give to some memberships. Thanks for listening in with us. Uh, this is the same guy that was running the ham radio yesterday. He's really good. Uh, as I said earlier, if you missed it, I don't know if we were saying that on X or here. It's been a busy morning already with work and this. But uh, this gentleman here on the ham radio has an email address. Uh, he also listed a website. I'm sure he'll list it again. Um, if folks have missing people, uh, or inquiries. I know he said they're changing it up, but they're still doing wellness checks, it sounds like, on the radio. So uh, you can get an email over to them. They'll put it out over the ham radio, uh, and folks can check on their loved ones. He did indicate that there's a community where there's 100 fatalities confirmed. Uh, there'll be a press conference at 10 a.m., he said, uh, officially, but he's saying that that number could triple, quadruple, potentially reach the thousands, uh, and he's not naming that community right now. So, um, I'm stunned when when uh, when I heard that. So uh, we'll continue listening, and thanks for tuning in with us. And uh, thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Everyone's usually pretty friendly, although it's Monday, and everyone may not have their coffee yet. N4DIN, go ahead. Roger, this is N4DIN, uh, Dennis, uh, with the Sworn and Oil Fire Department. I need to get in touch with K4SWL. His community is completely blocked off, and I need to get a list of supplies to have air dropped in. Yes, sir. We've been talking with him yesterday, along with another gentleman in that area. Uh, K4SWL, K4SWL, neck control calling. All right, he's not answering. How about N4EDX, N4EDX, K2DMG? K4SWL and N4EDX, if I'm not mistaken, they're both in that particular area. Um, and that is obviously one of the areas that's been hit very, very hard, as you know. So I want to know, Fire Department, is there anything else we can do for you? That's affirmative. I know yesterday at some point, I think I heard him giving out his phone number. I did not write it down. So if anybody gets his phone number, I will be monitoring this channel um, as long as I can. Um, we are trying to work on a helicopter uh, supply drop in their neighborhood. If uh, if he can put that together, I know there was medications that were needed, so um, I'll be monitoring. This is N4DIN clear. Thank you. You're welcome. N4DIN, I'll give you one more tidbit of information. They were setting up a two-meter uh, two simplex net, and that is on 14652 and on 14655. They were both using the primary frequency was going to be 14652 with the national call frequency. So if you have a uh, mobile or a base station uh, with that frequency, you'll probably be able to reach them on that. QSL. QSL, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. I will call them on that. Uh, sorry to interrupt your net. N4DIN clear. Okay, not a problem. And the other gentleman that lived in that area was N4EDX, Echo David X-Ray, QSL. Yeah, we heard yesterday there were 20 water trucks inbound. I know Florida is sending an additional 10 water trucks. That was put out in a notice from Florida yesterday. They're also sending Florida, sending 100 Starlinks, uh, including a communication strike team to help set up that communication infrastructure. Uh, so uh, I don't know if that's something you guys want to deal with now or if that will be you know, later down the road uh, for recovery, but there is a uh, deceased person in his front yard uh, stuck in a tree. 
uh, just to let you know, and you can coordinate uh, anything with him. Thank you very much, sir. God Jesus, a deceased again. individual in a tree. Mike for Frank Lee McGolf. Frank Lee McGolf. Um, I, uh, I was, uh, I was away from the radio. I was talking to my neighbors. Um, um, um. My wife heard my call sign. Uh, any, anything I need to know? Negative. We did not call you. We just started the net, and I did not uh, reach out. I'm sorry. Copy. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Now, there was a static you won there. Try it again. Kilo with four, Nando Alba. KW4, TA, go ahead. Crossmore Fire Department, my FDHS, UHF. I'm operating on generator power right now because we just lost power again. But I can't relay foot traffic to Crossmore Fire Department. Okay, I understand. If you have HF capability because you're so noisy into the repeater, you might want to monitor 40 meters, 7232. 7232 is the HF beside of this. Um, there's uh, folks that are uh, operating a net there, and they are passing information via email to me. So uh, if you want a 7232 if you're monitoring. Good copy. USL. Thank you, sir. K2DMG. Yeah, the ham operator, uh, when he started this morning at 9, said that there's 100 confirmed fatalities expected to triple or quadruple, and I think he's being generous with that number, I hate to say. Um, because he did indicate uh, thousands uh, at one point during the broadcast. So, uh, uh, shelter there, please. Yeah, yeah it's, today is going to be uh, that death toll is going to rise significantly uh, over the weekend. It, it just you know, I know media is trying and people are trying and volunteers are trying, but really, I, I think the relief efforts are going to happen in bulk today. Uh, multiple states, I know Connecticut also sent uh, National Guard resources, other states are doing the same, Florida. Um, but I think that death toll is going to rise because of the amount of resources now able to go in. We heard uh, the NOAA radio earlier, I'll pop that back on, but they're still under a flood warning until 11 a.m. tomorrow, Tuesday, um, because of weather and uh, conditions still. So. Good I can't seem to find morning, Irina. Good morning, Catgro. Good morning, anyone else just tuning in? Sleepy Goosey. Good morning, guys. Mistaken 10, Genevieve. QSL? Uh, QSL, that sounds familiar to me, too. Uh, just by the way, this is a handheld and uh, Rutherford County, so it's working well. Yeah, from uh, Rutherford County, you're doing fairly well. I know you guys were hit extremely hard down there, too. Godspeed, you, sir, and... Uh, Whoever needs the medical attention over there, 10 Genevieve, uh, hopefully they're doing okay. K2DMG. Roger, thank you. We were talking about uh, CB and ham radios yesterday. Um, that gentleman there is using a portable, sounds like CB or ham radio, and that's working fine from a distance. Uh, I'm definitely going to get at least a portable this week uh, after hearing all this unfold. Morning, Dan. Uh, I just wanted to follow up on a uh, welfare check that I did yesterday. I know there was a, a lot of concern for these individuals being elderly and having cancer and on dialysis. It was a welfare check conducted for the call sign Kilo Kilo 4 Zulu Alpha India. I wanted to see if he was able to uh, receive that traffic. When we signed off from the EOC last night, I had not received anything back on that particular address. Um, after I signed off, uh, I don't know if anybody came back in or not. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I went and did, I wanted to just make sure that I got that update to you and that you have the, uh, the information. Uh, I went and did that welfare check on Karen Scalo and partner Denny and uh, was able to confirm with their neighbors that they are healthy and safe. Uh, they're currently looking for methods to receive medical treatment that are otherwise okay. Okay, QSL. 
Yeah, the only medical treatment that we know of at this point is going to be over at 10 Genevieve at the shelter um, in, in Asheville. Um, but I know that's not close, so unfortunately I don't have anything else right now to tell you on that. Yeah, I passed that information to them. I was the individual that conducted the welfare check. So I passed that information to the, their neighbor, um, and uh, I wanted to make sure that the individual looking for contact with them was able to get information. Okay, perfect. We'll go back in the log and take a look forward and uh, try to get out to them. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate all y'all doing this. That's not in the nation. Q uh, this is uh, Q1 Julia Unifor, and I'm clearing monitoring. Johnny, thank you for the kind words, sir. K2DMG. Can you imagine being stuck in floodwaters and having a coffin or coffins, caskets float by? That's horrifying. That uh, communication was nowhere near as good as it was the day before, which would have been Saturday, operating from my home QTH. Uh, so we are back at the base station in the half shack, and all information is still being relayed to uh, the appropriate authorities from our home QTH. footage you're seeing there is from Georgia. There's still 90,000 people under a shelter in place evacuation order. I forget which one, but uh, yeah. You have a 
a power generator and they do have water, but... Uh, Recovery efforts in Florida seem to be going fine, Cindy. I mean, there is devastation. We said that yesterday in Florida. They're still recovering, obviously, but uh, we've sent National Guard resources over to North Carolina. Um, it's going to be a while, but uh, they started working on it like the day after. I mean, literally, we got the Cedar Key and they were already working on clearing roads and we got to bridge three almost all the way into the island. So um, they're working hard. And I guess the problem is that there's another storm brewing out in the Gulf and we don't know where it's going. So. And set for dates, I'm sorry. Comment, comment, go. Bravo for Australia. There is a seeding operation set up in Spruce Pine. I can give you the address and give you the location, but there is a seeding operation in Spruce Pine there, Roger. All right, let's go. Let's get that out for people to hear, because I know people are hungry and thirsty. Roger that. I'm mobile. Stand by. Let me pull up the address. Not a problem. Stand by, KY4QB, and we can get that out to your family. Standing by. Eva's going to get that information out on X. I'll retweet it, folks. I'll retweet it. Uh, First Baptist on Spruce, Eva? Or Spruce Pine? Please listen. Anybody in the first, uh, I'm sorry, the Spruce Pines, Burnsville area, please listen. There is a feeding, uh, feeding shelter that the First Baptist Church is doing, providing food and, uh, and water. 125 West Tappan Street. Repeating 125 West Tappan Street. That is for food at the First Baptist Church. I have a follow-up question, KY4QP. Go ahead. So I was talking before the net started to someone out over in Avery County said that the Avery County Airport runway is in good condition, but there's no gas. My question is the road accessible to the Avery County Airport. That Avery County station, are you monitoring? I heard you earlier. Uh, are you still on frequency? Let me pull up. Uh, let me pull up Google Maps for you here. I got my computer already up on Google Maps. Let me look up the airport and see if I see any red, which would indicate that it's closed. Stand by. One of the reasons I got stuck listening on this yesterday before going live is just the camaraderie, the, the people showing up from out of state locally, these food drives, airdrops, uh, people crossing roads that uh, the government is saying don't cross uh, to check on loved ones yesterday, newborn uh, and parents. Um, just listening to this unfold, obviously uh, sad to hear the number of lives that have been lost, but uh, hearing people come together to help others uh, during this, I think was needed for me. All right, QSL, thank you for that, because I'm not even finding it here. Um, all right, you copy that information, sir? 
I got the information. Uh, the aircraft we have would uh, fly it with full fuel. But also, there's an aircraft on the ground that we have access to there that is full of fuel. So we're okay on the fuel. We just need to know if we can get in and out of the airport itself. So thank you for the information. KY4QB, I'm still monitoring. Yes, there was somebody that could give you a little more assistance there than I could have. Thank you. K2DMG. Control, AD3I. All right, just stand by one sec there, the other station. I, all right, I just found it. Yeah, I don't know why. I texted in Caldwell County. It's Avery County, as you said. That was, uh, that was me not thinking, I guess. But, yeah, everything in that area shows open. Uh, there's no, uh, no reported road closures right now that I can see. Thank you for the information, KY4QP. You're very welcome. AI3, AI3, I think it is, go. Uh, good morning to you guys. Yeah, well, what Eva said, uh, Florida expected, even Atlanta expected it, right? Georgia had an expectation of the storm, and then out of nowhere, um, you know, Asheville is, I think they, they said they've never seen anything like this, uh, Asheville, North Carolina. So this, I feel like they were blindsided uh, and listening to the radio. It seems that is, in fact, what happened there. With two dogs addressed. 90 B Ridge, 90 house number, Street B, Bravo Echo Echo Ridge. QSL? QSL next. Next one is in Candler. The name is Ashley Wilson. Last name Whiskey, India, Lima, Sierra, Oscar, November. It is mother, brother, and two dogs. Address 33 I View Road. House number 33, three. road number, name is I, Echo Yankee, Echo View, Victor India, Echo Whiskey Road in Candler. Um, just reach back on my cell phone, 704-219-2707. The name here is Vicky, like Victoria. QSL? Uh, QSL, Vicky, thank you. Uh, I will let you know these, these new, I don't know if you heard the preamble this morning oh, that I did. Um, we are now moving into all health and wellness. MJ, I think uh, the ham operator here said at the beginning, just because you haven't heard from someone doesn't mean that something bad has happened. There's no communication in some of these areas. That's why. States are sending in Starlink. Um, cellular coverage is non-existent in some areas after this. Poles are down. Um, roads are down. They can't even they can't even install poles until the roads uh, are completed here. So, um, stay positive. Morning. Good stuff going on, and um, uh, it was quicker for me to call in than email. But I got your email, my friend. You have a good day, and the fellows listening that are scribing for you as well. AD3 I clear. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have yourself a good day, and we'll be hearing from you, I'm sure. Thank you. Next control. There we go, Andrew. Next control. This is Kilo Oscar 4 Hotel Uniform Victor. Do you copy? Go ahead. I was just trying to see if I could get information on the Woodfin area. It's like northwest of Asheville, just a few miles. I don't have anything specific to report from that area. Anybody in that area, come now. The Woodfin area. Woodfin area of Asheville, come. Julia Bravo. Julia Bravo, go. This is NC4JB Net Control. Uh, I haven't had a lot of information. I'm just north of Woodfin and Alexander. Uh, do you know that there's no water? The water system in Woodfin is out and probably likely to be out for several weeks. Uh, it sounds like first responders are able to get in the area. Uh, that's all I have for right now. Over. 4HUV, thank you for the information that you have. I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. You are doing a wonderful job, and we will keep in touch as much as we can. Thank you again. I am out. 
All right, QSL, thank We're going to start operating our live streams after this the same way they operate the ham radio. Please come. And all these all these different terms they're using, I like it. It's efficient. That's how that's how streams should be run. The same way ham radio is run. <laughs> and they were going to have a backup frequency is one four six five five one four six five five. Hey Roger, good copy on that. Hey, appreciate what you're doing. A O four C T A F. You're very welcome. Get your DMG. N four D I N. N four D I N go. Able to get in on the Cell phone providers are realizing that, yeah, uh, what Sleuthy is saying there in chat. Um, so originally when Apple released their iPhone with the satellite capability, it was just for SOS. Now satellite can be used to send text messages in emergencies. So they're expanding upon it because that satellite has the same connectivity that Internet has uh, and works when local Internet has been affected. So. Are you on frequency? frequency uh there was a gentleman in that neighborhood as well that was trying to get a hold of you and the, the prefix of this call i'm sorry the suffix of this call was flg frankly my golf um but uh i'm not hearing him right now so if he pops back up uh, we'll get you two in contact us up roger roger i'll keep trying to monitor we're also in the process of doing rescue and recovery so i'm very busy um but i will try to continue to monitor Advertising for Starlink, but I am looking obviously at ham radio, CB radios. And we asked yesterday, Irina told us the pricing, so stay connected on the go. Starting at 50 month, now available for $599, $299 for the standard kit, and then 50 to 120 a month, depending on your needs. So um, comparable, I guess, to what one would pay. I mean, we have one gig, and I think we pay around 100 a month. I think we have a new provider coming in with fiber with five gigs. That's like around 160 a month. So I know it's not fiber speeds, but um, probably a good backup to have. Although I don't know how feasible that is for people already spending 100 a month for internet. So in Hendersonville and Brevard, uh, give me the road name on that one again. Yep, it's Highway 64 near Rugby. I know folks were saying that uh, the gas stations were open on the Tennessee and North Carolina border, uh, your neighborly Demi. Uh, I don't know the area that well. I've been through here, but um, not acclimated with it like that. Maybe someone else can answer. Comment. Go ahead with the comment. Does anybody know if the roads going up into Johnson City are okay from Bakersville? All right, let's stand by on that for a sec, sir. That's not a comment. That's a new question. All right, so we got the Horseshoe, North Carolina at the restaurant called... I'm also going to put the... Hopefully folks can hear me. I'm trying to... We're both up so you can hear that too, but I'm going to put the email address of the ham operator in here. Please don't abuse it. It's for uh, folks trying to get information about the area that they're not able to get otherwise. Uh, email is going in the chat. Expect an hour to two hour wait. 
that they are open every day as long as they have fuel and will also be selling any supplies they have in the store. Sorry, QSL, so we got that rule. Well, we're asterisking some of this important stuff and when I we're going to break probably in about 15 minutes so we can listen to the uh, press release or the, uh, the release that they knew from Buncombe County if they still do it at 10 o'clock today. And so we can get you guys all that information. So, uh, yes, uh, I will uh, add that to uh, the, uh, the things that we're asterisking here for food. Thank you very much. That's what this is uh, starting to turn into, just so everybody knows. This is starting to turn into a humanitarian crisis more than anything. Obviously, we have people that are trapped still and, and trying to survive uh, whatever horrible condition that they're in. But the next phase of this, if you're, if you're in the emergency services world and have taken some of these classes, it goes from, you know, rescue to humanitarian issues. And when it becomes a humanitarian issue, that's when issues start to arise because when people are hungry and people are thirsty they will do anything to survive and that's the reality of it and we won't get into what will be done but if we don't get food and water out to people this is going to turn into a real issue and that's one of the big reasons we're not going to be sending people out to do health and welfare checks today because when people are trying to protect their own that it's going to get nasty, and uh, we don't want that to happen. We want the roads to open so water and food can get out to people. So I, I really appreciate everybody's understanding on this, and uh, it's not what I wanted to come on and say today, but uh, if you if you follow how this stuff works and the classes that we've, you know, the first responders we take, uh, this is... Um, this has got the potential to get real bad real fast, and we're, we're doing everything we can to keep those roads open for our first responders. As for the gentleman that was looking, that broke in, that was looking for um, highways up to Johnson City, I will verify again this morning. I'm pulling it up right now. And let's look at 26 today, but last uh, we heard, 26 was still closed into Tennessee. Uh, we are looking right now, though, for you, because we don't want to lie to anybody. But uh, let's, well, I don't know why my traffic got turned off, but there we go. Traffic is back on, and let's look at 26. 26, that's 25, where? I'm missing 26 here for some reason. Let's see. 26 still shows, well... 26 right now is closed. Yes, there it is. It's closed. I saw how my map got turned on to a different screen, but I had to find it there. Uh, yes, 26 is still showing closed. I'm sorry to report to you, sir. As for the back roads, I know 19W is closed in spots uh, inside Tennessee. Um, and there were hams on here reporting that 19W in North Carolina side was impassable. QSO. Thank you. 
Thomas. Bob, this is K1, Julia Uniform, and I am clear. Thank you again for everything you're doing. We appreciate you guys more than you know. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Come and go. Uh, question, Casey one llj for the gentleman who just uh, spoke up about the Barnes & Noble. Do you, or are you aware of infant formula at that location or at any location? I do not have any confirmation that there is infant formula available. I do have an individual, a private individual that has reported Traveler's Rest has uh, full services as far as Walmart, and other stores, and at last report yesterday evening, they had formula on hand. They were out of some of the specific formula, such as Nutramagen, that is a, uh, a harder commodity to come by for infants with special dietary needs, but they still had formula on hand as of yesterday afternoon per report from a private individual. We will have formula today. Can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you. Go ahead. Formula will be at Avery County Airport today. QSL Avery County Airport reporting baby formula will be available today. Is that available now, ma'am, or is that available later today? Avery County 7 Alpha 8 later today. 7 Alpha 8, is that correct? Correct. Question. Sorry, I was writing that down. Uh, go ahead uh, with the question. Are there any other supplies that are being delivered to Avery County Airport? This is KY4QP. Yes, Avery County Airport will have water and other supplies delivered from uh, Samaritans and jars throughout the day. Appreciate that information, KY4QP. Still monitoring. Net control. All right, just uh, one sec. Let me, uh, I just wanted to jot that down. That's very important there. You know, Avery County, along with some of these other counties in these... You are welcome. The gift memberships are random. Sorry if you don't want the membership. I have no choice. It just says gift five, and it randomly hands them out. So uh, it sounds like they may read the presser over the ham at 10 a.m. for folks. So uh, if not, we'll get our hands on it. And it's just yeah, it's just a press release. It's not a presser, so I don't think we're going to get video. And So uh, we'll wait for that. Uh, uh, information and passing it to people today and as long as we need to. Um, also, Samaritan's Purse, if everybody doesn't know, Samaritan's Purse is a, uh, a fantastic organization and if I'm not, if I'm, I, correct me if I'm wrong, ma'am, but I'm pretty sure that was started by Billy Graham, uh, who's a, a very, very big uh, voice in this, uh, in this state, obviously. And, uh, and his son continues his legacy today. So thank you very much. We'll get that out for Avery County Airport. Next station, go. Hello, Bravo 4, Australia. Okay, there was a gentleman talking that was all static, but before uh, he broke in, I heard a Kilo Bravo 4 go. Yes, Kilo Bravo 4, Australia. I've got another feeding operation to give you, sir. Uh, you're kind of static too. I, I only caught Kilo Bravo 4, Oscar. Give me the rest of the call and go ahead with the info. Uh, Clayton Road, Arden, over Arden, 
beautiful little area of North Carolina that I heard was uh, hit very hard as well. I've been to Oregon probably 600 times uh, over the past couple of years. Used to go there for work all the time. Beautiful little area. Uh, 35 Clayton Road, another feeding spot. Let's go ahead and give these out, and then we're going to break because i got it set up for the uh, press conference here. Let's give these out real fast. So we got a couple of feeding spots, everybody. Everybody pay attention that's hungry and thirsty. Uh, we're here to try to get you the help we can, and we're going to give you what we got so far. First Baptist Church, 125 West Tappan Street. Third, First Baptist Church, 125 Tappan Street. And that's in, uh, gosh, I didn't write it down, but I believe it was Spruce Pines, Burnsville, neck of the woods. Uh, KY4QP brought that to my attention. If uh, when I break, correct me if I'm wrong, and I'll write it down. I don't know why I didn't write it. Next one was in Marion, Grace Community Church, 5182 Highway 70 in Marion. Grace Community Church, 5182 Highway 70 in Marion. Horseshoe, North Carolina. Uh, that's going to be between Hendersonville and Bravada, the Root and Bone Restaurant. That's going to be on uh, Highway 64 and Rugby. Uh, they are feeding there as well. There's also a gas station. While have long lines, uh, there is a gas station that has had most uh, the most food or uh, supplies to, to buy. Um, Essential Goods is at Barnes and Nobles at the Asheville Mall. Uh, they do have uh, baby formula. They just reported. Avery County Airport, uh, identifier 7, Alpha 8, 7, Alpha 8, has baby formula and other supplies that are being flown in today. So that is another stop for Avery County residents. And uh, we just got reports of 35 Clayton Road in Arden. 35 Clayton Road in Arden is a feeding spot as well. Uh, we'll try to get more on that. The gentleman was very scratchy. Uh, KY4 QP, did I have that right? Was that Burnsville, Spruce Pines, Neck of the Woods, I think? KY4QP, what was the question again? Was well, that West Tappan Street in uh, Spruce Pines? I'm not familiar with it, uh, but uh, is that another distribution in the area? Well, yeah, you gave it to me, KY4QP, right? That's your call? Yes, KY4QP. Uh, I got it written that you gave it to me. Maybe I had your call written down wrong, but uh, First Baptist Church, 125 West Tappan Street, I believe Spruce Pines, Burnsville area, is a feeding spot uh, for everybody that's listening. All right, this net is going to break. We're going to listen to the uh, press conference, and for whatever reason, if the press conference does not happen like they said it was going to, we will come back. This is K2DMG. Feel free to... Uh, so I use the repeater while I'm gone, and I will report back when I meet, when uh, the press conference is got, uh, over. K2DMG. Yeah, so, uh, we'll see so, Sleuthy Goosey and others sending some good information here uh, as we await the presser or press release uh, feeding spots coming through. On the screen prior to me coming on uh, is a uh, form that folks can send over if they're looking for a missing or loved one. Uh, in that county, link is in the chat. Uh, people can text BC Alert, uh, as in British Columbia, uh, but that's not what it stands for. But BC Alert to nine nine four one one to get updates. Uh, feeding centers uh, are being set up. Grace Community Church, uh, another feeding center. Um, Eva put out earlier. That's on X. That was at the First Baptist Church. Uh, one of the addresses for the feeding station is 35 Clayton Road. We heard on the ham radio, uh, this is a humanitarian crisis, uh, and folks will do what they need to do in order to eat and drink uh, and to take care of their loved ones. So these feeding centers are critical. People need to eat. People need three basic things. I know that from addiction, uh, and that, that, <laughs> that, that resonates throughout life, which is shelter, food, uh, right, uh, a safe place to stay, some food, uh, and clothing. Um, those are the three basics that people need right now. And in these hard hit areas, it's very hard to get those supplies in. Uh, people, uh, private civilians, we saw last night uh, on flight radar uh, doing their best to help, but uh, the numbers here um, ain't math and they need more help, so. Please slow up five minutes, I'll be on the road. Okay, be careful. Sleuthy mentioning that's in Spruce gotcha. Pines and that's the one that Eva put out earlier on X as well that I retweeted. We will continue trying to do our best with getting information out as we listen in uh, uh, for the press release. I figure that you're going to hear a lot more here on this ham radio than the press release. They're being a lot more transparent on this radio than 
I think that means okay, but that's my opinion. Day, he reached the repeater, clear. Copy that. Thanks for the info. I've been monitoring the uh, uh, network, and it's been doing great. I'm down in Brevard uh, monitoring for um, welfare checks and information. Thank you very much. Eva pointing out that they have baby formula at the Barnes and Nobles at Asheville Mall. Uh, and you can share that on your platforms. If there's anything I can do in terms of retweeting, just let me know. Tag me and I will check my phone momentarily. I don't have the frequency for any of the press conferences. The uh, net uh, control person, Dan is uh, getting on a uh, update right now um, and then he's going to come back to this frequency and we'll be giving an update on this frequency uh, once he gets the update. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the timing was going to be on that so just keep monitoring this frequency, KY4QP. This is KY4EMT, uh, if you are in the Asheville area, um, the radio conference is basically supposed to happen now, but they have not started yet. And if you have radio, uh, just regular FM radio, it's going to be on 88.1. Uh, thank you for that. Yeah, I've got it. It's just music now. I guess I'm awaiting. Thank you very much for the info. W-A-2-U-C-Z. So there is a link up on uh, the screen that you can see in terms of resources. That link is going into chat now. Feel free to share that. Uh, you see uh, there's a nice list of resources, uh, phone numbers, addresses uh, in terms of help and assistance. Information request, Whiskey 2, Papa Romeo Sierra, over. Okay, 5 MPG, go ahead. Yes, hearing a lot about Buncombe County, not hearing much at all about Henderson and Transylvania. Uh, we're down in Henderson County, wondering if you had any... Uh, any frequencies that we might monitor to get more information about Henderson County? Over. KY4 
for QP. Um, I was waiting for a response from someone on the Henderson County question. Um, my suggestion, if you can't find any frequencies in Henderson County, just to keep monitoring this frequency, the net will be back on after a while, and uh, just start asking questions in the net uh, that you have about Henderson County, maybe feeding stations, water drop-off stations, where there may be gasoline, any type of services, those type of things. And uh, there's a lot of information that's been coming out on this net. KY4QP, I'm on the screen. Thank you very much. I certainly appreciate it. Keep up the work. Uh, 62 Papa Romeo Sierra signing off. Thank you. KY4QP, K5SCG. This is KY4QP. Go ahead. Roger, copy. You hear me okay? Uh, static E, but I can hear you. KY4QP, K5MPG. This may be a repetitive question, but uh, have you heard any recent news about Mitchell County, specifically Green Mountain? Over. I have not heard anything about Green Mountain. I've heard that in Spruce Pine there is going to be a, there is a feeding station set up at First Baptist Church at 125 West Cabin Street. Uh, there's also a feeding station taking place in Marion uh, at the Grace Community Church. And um, there look, sounds like there's going to be some supplies delivered to Avery County Airport. Um, Someone came on earlier that says that they will have formula at Avery, Avery County Airport later on this afternoon, plus some other supplies as well as water. Uh, and that's the information I have in the Mitchell County area. Roger, copy. I appreciate that. I'm up on Kitchen Reef. Uh, Rio Echo Mike, 86, Uniform Bravo. Echo Mike, 86, Uniform Bravo. And uh, we're stranded up here. Uh, no egress whatsoever, unless you've got a helicopter. Uh, we are uh, on the north side of the North Poe River, and the river came up so much over North Carolina 197 that it's covered. From, I've heard anywhere from 3 feet to 10 feet of mud uh, between Hutchdale and Relief. Uh, which is just a couple miles stretch. The road's washed out. The railroad tracks are gone. Uh, everybody, I, as far as I know, in my hollers on Pigeon Roof, uh, with the exception of a fractured wrist, uh, everyone's healthy, no injuries, but uh, there are some needs for blood pressure medicine and uh, uh, insulin. Um, I did hear that you are stranded, as well as other people are stranded in your holler. The road's out, the uh, railroad's out, uh, in need of blood pressure medicine and insulin. Um, what is the location again? Roger, uh, Pigeon Roost Road, North Carolina, Highway 1349er, NC 1349er. The grid is Echo Mike 86. Uniform Bravo. Okay, when the net comes back up, it should be coming back up within the next hour or so. I will relay the information that uh, emergency drop needs to be made in that area. Thanks so much, Vlad. K5 MPG clear. The guy is in the KFLCG. K5 MPG, go ahead. Okay, uh, there is another uh, frequency that you will probably be able to get through that's actually a repeater there in Mitchell County. And it's 146775. 146775. A tone of 103.6. 103.6. You might get a hold of someone in that frequency that can maybe help you uh, to get what you need.
Right, KF4 LCG. Go ahead. Mobile, in route, uh, don't know EPA. Okay, be careful. The station telling me about the other repeater. I got the frequency 146.775. What's the offset, over? Thanks for subscribing, Frank Frank. Roger. Okay. Um, well, I will be standing by. Um, I've got a uh, one of our plant managers down here. His parents uh, live up there in the Asheville area, and I've got their name, phone number, and address, etc., whatever is needed to do a welfare check on them. down the information, but I, I think due, I'm not sure the welfare checks are going out today due to uh, just a humanitarian effort, but uh, Dan would be in a better position to answer that. I have a comment. Go ahead, comment. The uh, welfare checks can be emailed to k2dmg9629 at gmail.com.
any contact information you have. Roger, roger. Will do. Uh, any kind of time frame to, for a response? They're holding the welfare check responses until a uh, point in time where they follow up with the welfare checks because they're trying to keep the um, uh, ro uh, roads open and clear for um, our first responders right now. Uh, the, the first uh, priority is the first responders getting in with supplies, and they don't want to clog up the roads doing the welfare checks right now, but they will be following up on the welfare checks. Roger. Are y'all working, uh, by any chance, are y'all working with the uh, United States and Navy by chance? information. Um, I'll be standing by monitoring. In for DME. Thanks for the subscribe, uh, Tropical Storm named Kirk, but I believe that one is heading up north. Won't be taking any direct hits on North America, but we're watching one that's supposed to form in the Gulf. I think I read this morning it's 40% probable forming right now. So, And we are waiting for an update on the official presser from Buncombe County. Hope I'm saying it right. Sounds good. Thanks for the info. And thank you for subscribing 